Sergio, it's a return to Toronto for you. You spent a couple exciting years, especially that year where Liverpool came and visited. Um, tell me your feelings on making this decision. It was one a couple weeks, you said, in the making. Yeah, it was a couple of weeks, but it was a no-brainer for me. Um, I've always wanted to come here, play for my hometown, and I've, I've wanted that since I was 15, since I first started playing with the club with Stu Neal and Junior Academy. So this is a dream come true, and uh, I'm ready to go. Everyone's goal, I think, is to make those steps quicker than we actually get to make it. Um, you knew at a certain point that you wanted to head to NCAA to further your um, experience. Can you tell how that, at that time with the two different universities really helped you and, and upped your game? Definitely. Um, if you would have asked me when I was 17, I would have said I was ready to play pro. But looking back at it now, very, very glad I made this decision. Um, I was just able to mature as a person and as a player. And now I can take what I've learned in school and, and apply it to, uh, to, this, to this next opportunity. Now you're able to advance quickly through the uh, coastal team, but then you took on a new challenge with Syracuse. Can you tell me how that last year, your fourth year, really helped you in refining that last bit of skill uh, on a team that competed for a little bit more than maybe you saw at Coastal? Yeah, uh, both teams high caliber, but um, just a different level with Syracuse and, and everything they, 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 they provide and, and, and the coaching staff, the players that you play around with and uh, and the facilities and uh, just that last year it, it was it was amazing to be able to spend it in a, in a top-notch program like that and show and have exposure that that they have with all, all, all these MLS clubs is it was just great you have a handful of friends and former teammates being drafted today is there any specific shout outs guys you're specifically proud of that you said what saw walk up on that stage already of course Miles Robinson uh, I'm still hoping for Chris Nango and my boy Liam Callahan I, I still hope that he gets picked up by by a very lucky team that gets him because he deserves whatever he gets.